far you want to go back, Brent. Right? Uh, whatever you yeah, want whatever. to do. Uh, okay. so. <laughs> so this is um, an app that's supposed to work like a piece of equipment that investigators use called an apopolis. So scary. It's supposed to be able to use their energy to choose words from a dictionary to communicate with you. Sometimes it can be pretty eerie. Sometimes it's not. Right now it's pretty accurate. <laughs> it's that, it says rest. It said chance. A little bit ago, it says rest. I know! <laughs> so, you know, down here your your phone app's gonna go a little more crazier when you get by the phone. Oh, uh, well, my. The, this little one does, yeah. Gary said he thought he saw something looking out from there. Hey Jen, where was your tree at? Not out here, because we sure didn't come this far. Really? No. <laughs> no, right here's your tree. <clears throat> okay Brent, you want to know the story about this tree here? Yeah, hold on. Let me uh, let me see that tripod, Brent. Yep, hold on. I'll get. I'll try to figure something for. It. Oh, that's you. <laughs> I was looking past you.
All right, Gary, if you want to tell us a little about the tree. Okay. This tree right here, you see where there's a big broken limb? The flashlight's kind of on us. This is what has been passed down in urban legend is the hanging tree. Legend has it that this big limb that used to come all the way over the trail right here was a spot where the gentleman burned down his house, killed his family, and then come out here and hung himself from this limb. Well, we used to come back back in the days of the old Polaroid and, and uh, instant cameras and that, and we'd always take a picture of this tree and absolutely none of the pictures would turn out. And about eh, six, seven years ago, this big limb finally succumbed and it broke off the tree. And then every time we have been back since, we've taken pictures of that tree and they have turned out. But prior to that, we would always get just a solid black picture. So we, we thought that was really interesting that until that limb broke off that tree, we would never get a pitcher to turn out. But here again, that's just one of the strange things that we cannot explain out here. And as far as what we know to be fact, that was urban legend. Kat, do you have anything going on? I am taking up on a, a man. I, he's dressed in a body like a hunting deer, a deer hunter. And he has a beard and like salt and pepper hair. Um, and he's a little disdainful of what we're doing out here. Like, I feel like he had a heart attack. Um, I don't know if he had a heart attack out here or if this is just where he has the most happiest memories but I can feel it in my body. Um, this was his favorite place to hunt. He feels disturbed. He feels like we're disturbing his peace. But I was like, you realize that a lot of spirits come here and he just kind of shrugs like, He knows. It's, it's like he's saying there's nothing to be afraid of out here. He spent a lot of time out here when he was alive. When you guys were out here, did you uh, get pictures of the foundation, or was it too all weeded over? We got some. Yeah, we actually, um, it looks like somebody had been out with a metal detector and dug some stuff up, and we found a, found a, a hinge from like a barn door. Mm, cool. Yeah, so I figured it'd be good for maybe the Mason Historical Society to have that, so I was going to knock some of the rust off of it, you know, not too much, leave the patina on it and yep. give it to the historical society kind of as a, as a token. Um, there's folks at the historical society that don't like much conversation about it. I don't want to name any names, but there's definitely members on the board that are pro and against having conversations about this story. And there's people, I, I talked in the interview about, there's people out here in the Dansville area that, that don't like conversations about this area mm. that won't talk about it um you know the ricky holland thing and the amanda mm -hmm. davies thing and all that happening out here people are uncomfortable with that being taken within 
all the suicides that have happened around this area. Yeah, there was a major suicide right over on the Africa. I keep on seeing this since we walked in here. I keep seeing the fingerprints, and I'm like, I've never seen that before. And it's so weird. Okay. So I'm wondering if they find somebody out here with like a fingerprint on the body yeah, or on the on something. Hmm. I don't know. That's just my speculation. But those are the two things I keep seeing. When do I get to do your yard, Jen? Whenever. You, while you're coming, I mean, a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks, it's yeah. November. Do you get any sort of Ricky okay. Holland vibe out here at all? Because Ricky Holland's body is down right over here. His no, animal that right. way. That way? Yeah, it was on Ewers and Williamson Road. Oh, that's there's that a, way. There's a little cross over yeah. there where his body is. Yeah. And it's right over this well, way. Where his body is. I have in the past, but I already knew about it. Okay. So, so I don't, I just, if I already knew about it, then I kind of just take it inside. How about a little yeah. lady? No, I I'm wondering if the sheriff's department believes that the murder was actually committed out there because they couldn't see it. And the body was, when, they, when they did the in investigation on. Uh, was that the man's daughter? No. That's Lori Murningham. Okay. No, that was. Um, Amanda, they, she disappeared what from the Dansville parking lot at the school. Yep. And they yep. found her under a viaduct mm -hmm. drained of all of her blood. Uh, she was stabbed so many times her. She was, she was badly mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, I went to high school with a, with a guy that was indicted for killing her and then summarily mm -hmm. acquitted, yeah. Well, I keep seeing something stepping out of the woods up here. I mean, I keep hearing it. And then I'm like down here. There's two shadow people. They keep going back and forth, right? Yeah, yeah. I kept seeing, I just thought it was my... Uh, They're literally like standing, something, but the whole time he was talking, and I was listening to him. I kept thinking I was seeing something going back and forth. Like right now, they're like standing in the middle of the path, mm -hmm. facing us. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I usually can't see anything. Yay, we get to go back that way. <laughs> Do you remember the time that um, we were here on a tour, and I was, I was standing crazy. with my back to the gate? and you were watching the trail and yeah. I like lost my train of thought and I couldn't speak and you started laughing and you said that there were three spirits that appeared on the trail like coming towards us there's right at the time that I stopped talking. There's three of them right now. There's, at first it was two and now there's three. I don't know if anybody's you're looking at sending a camera down there. <laughs> well that do that kind of work though for sure. Okay. Um, is the vibe pop any more positive or negative than you do? Tonight, it seems like a little bit eerie. I am still seeing lots of activity down that way. Okay. I'm not trying to play um, you I'm just curious. But typically, I don't get super negative vibes out here. Like, it gets creepy, <laughs> it gets eerie, but I don't get, like, oh, we're in danger, we like gotta go. Oh. Um, or even like people being killed out here or anything, it's like, seems like very, almost like the energy itself is cleansing. But then, the deeper we go in, the more I get an icky feeling. Mm -hmm. like, like up there at the corner? 
Yeah, because we've been here before and we've kept going for quite a ways, and I start feeling like, okay, now I'm not comfortable anymore. Like when you get up to the hill and that sort of thing? Uh huh. Yeah, I noticed that. Um, yeah, it's super there's dark. something over here. And it is weird. See yeah. it? I heard that, yeah. But it is weird to keep see like almost down here, I almost can get a focus, but I, then it just slips away. Like all blobs together back and slips away. Does anybody want to go deeper? Or? No, I'm good. Mm -mm. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. This is, I think, the furthest I've come out here because okay. I've always got people that don't want to come at all, so I never go far because I want them to feel safe. I think we were down around here when you got that stuff on your camera. You think we were this far? I think so, because we were walking for quite a way. Because mm -hmm. the that night, the people had went really far up in that clearing right up there. And that's I where the fire was, yeah. Well, yeah, I that, remember that. That corner is about, I don't know, it's going to be feet up. And the more, uh, the closer another, we got, the further we got in, the more you started that. getting that stuff on mm -hmm. your... I keep hearing that. Don't yeah. you hear that? Yeah, yeah I do keep hearing like stuff. This is kind of the... It's pretty active in here tonight. When we first got in here, Gary was going so fast, I couldn't, yeah. like, like, <laughs> right. I was like, I couldn't tune <laughs> in very well. I'm like, damn, let me just slow down real quick. Uh -huh. Have you seen any lights, any... Uh, oh, i just seen one down the trail, just about down where Chris was saying the, the bend is down yeah, there. That, that's super that's pretty typical of what you see. You'll just see like little flashes of light. A little glow and then it's gone. Shouldn't be yeah, there. Is it coming? Yeah. Probably maybe. Yeah. I still keep seeing that fingerprint every so often. It's so that is creepy. Like, do you, like a fingerprint, like is it just floating or how do you yeah, see it? Yeah, it looks like just like a light fingerprint. Like, like it's made of light. But then it disappears. It's like there, then it's gone. It's there, and it's gone. And I'm just like. And then I actually see like a skeletal hand. That's why I feel like there's somebody, somebody's bones that haven't been discovered yet, of somebody that's missing, maybe. That did not happen to me last time. It's always something different every time I'm here. That's awesome. Um, that noise that we were hearing is like a creaking noise yeah oh. so when we first walked in I was getting the old man mm -hmm. where he had kind of a bigger build the beard again. but there was three people standing on the trail they're gone starting to see movement again that way and earlier I was seeing stuff like kind of like coming out of the woods yeah. down here and just like how much of it is your eyes playing tricks on you and <laughs> but yeah like I don't think anything out here. I might get some stuff at the gate, like, and we'll shoot another bolt open, maybe. Yeah. Can you grab this tripod, Brent? Yeah, yeah, yeah.
just put on the food in the truck. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. the way after yeah. was only there on the way yeah. in and on the way out. Yes. Okay. And we'll keep them quick. And then we, we want to do another uh, bold open? Yeah, I think we could, might as well. Okay.